Hey guys, Fat Basement Dweller back on the farm, the magic farm, such as it is. Yeah, it's part seven, and I'm still living in the middle of a field like a savage. So, during this session, that's what we're going to be taking care of. Uh, building a house, moving, getting more organized with the farming, getting my cheeseburger factory up and running. We got the tomatoes and tomato seeds. I don't think we found any lettuce yet, so we need to do some seed searching. And so that's what's on the plate for this particular session. I don't know how long it's going to take me to build the house. Might be two parts. We'll have to see how it goes. Just let me show you what I've done between last time. I fed the cows and once again the babies have escaped. Uh, so apparently that's been a bug in vanilla Minecraft forever. Uh, somebody pointed it out and I remember trying to make a ranch way back on Minecraft 1.3 and the animals kept escaping and it was driving me nuts. At least now I know it's the game and not me. Apparently they finally tracked that down and fixed it for version 1.6.2 which doesn't really help us here. Our lunch is going to keep escaping, but good to know they finally tracked that down. I've widened this pond a bit. It looks like our rice is finally growing over there because um, this is probably going to be our source of food for a bit yet until we get the um, farm things sorted out and our sugar cane is growing quite well finally I started building the foundation of what's going to be the house not going to be anything spectacular to get us started just some kind of cottage and I'm just going to use the cobblestone for the foundation probably just wood for the house no nothing fancy I suck at building you're going to find out you're in for a treat here shortly. Uh, no, not really. You're in for some real pain. I also found out we had enough bronze to upgrade our bloom, so I want to do that really quick because food is going to be an issue here shortly. And I want to put that in there, not the iron. And somebody made a comment about people that he or she has been seeing playing the game obsessing over iron. Well, we're not obsessing over iron just to obsess over iron. It's for a good reason. And that is to make cookware so we can actually make decent food so we don't have to be fishing every five minutes or eating berries for one point of food so you have to forgive that it's um not because we want like uber tools on day two it's because we want to be able to eat food that actually restores food points so we can actually do more interesting things so sorry if you guys found that boring trying to get to iron as fast as possible but it's because we get quite tired of uh, having to eat every three seconds so let's see if I can remember how this goes I think that's right and we need an iron hammer for this did I make that last time? Yeah, I did. Alright, so let's go ahead and hammer this thing out. And I think I said last time, don't spam hammering the anvil, otherwise you'll just waste your ability on your hammer, but it's worth repeating. This is working, right? Yes, good, excellent. So, once we get the skillet and the pot we'll be able to make cheese and butter and all kinds of good stuff and we'll be well on our way to having cheeseburgers which if 
I can't have in uh, real life, at least I'm going to have in my Minecraft game. And wow, I hope they fixed the uh, lag that this... Uh, causes in the next version of Mind Fantasy because the FPS lag that hammering this anvil causes is really intolerable. Alright, there we go. And now we can finally make real iron and make our skillet. So we need to put a wrought iron in here and regular coal in the right. And charcoal won't work. We need to use coal for the carbon, I guess. And the GY's bug is not showing the progress. There we go. And it looks like from doing that hammering, my FPS is kind of lagging, so give me a second here. I'm going to restart the recording. Alright, that's a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and make our skillet, if I can remember how to do this. There we go. And the pot was something like... Oh, I need one more piece of iron. Luckily we have a few more. Something like this. And there we should be good now for making our cheeseburgers once we have the uh, cheese and stuff. But um, I did some fishing off uh, camera, made some more fish sticks. So we're good on that for now. So let's go ahead and put these in here. Uh, as well as this. We don't need. Uh, hmm. And I'm going to have to do some resource collecting. Stone and wood. And I was going to do that off camera, but with the way this series has gone, I figure anything could happen and you guys would miss out on me dying, starving to death, or getting forcibly backdoored by a baby dragon or drake again. So... Wouldn't want you guys to miss out on that fun. And let's sleep here so we don't get blown up in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention as well, the mod pack has been updated to version 2.0. I haven't gotten a chance to look through and see exactly what all the uh, changes are, but the promise was that the difficulty was going to go up immensely, so we may have lucked out on getting started during version 1.0. I don't know. Or uh, maybe not. Did they take the grindstone out? No. It looks like it's still in there. So, we still won't be using it. But I thought maybe use be removing that from the game since it allows you to skip past a lot of the mind fantasy tier, tech tier and stuff. Uh, probably going to need a ton of wood for this. It's going to turn out to be a fugly house, I'm sure. But... We'll have to see. Speaking of uh, building, I want to direct you guys to a uh, new friend of mine. His name's Jay. He does uh, his channel. He does a series on building with just vanilla materials, and he's really good with it. Um, infinitely better than anything I could possibly do. And I'm going to put the link to his channel below this video and. You guys should check it out if you want to see uh, 
somebody who can actually build, and then you can compare it to uh, what I'm going to do here, and yeah. And you'll ask, Fat Basement Dweller, why are you showing us this? And I'll say, that's a good question. I was going to build this off camera, but hey, I've shared everything else with you guys. My embarrassing deaths haven't cut anything out, so... I guess uh, I'm up for sharing my embarrassing uh, building skills or lack thereof as well. So, need a new axe here. All right, actually, I have one, which is good since. Oh, there we go. I've got stuff all over the place. I'm just used to uh, being able to middle mouse button sort everything and we don't have that right now at least not the setting and you could probably hear the train going by right near my house in the background so sorry about that nothing I can do right now uh, I really need to uh, get to the uh, ability to be able to push to talk and play these uh, games at the same time but I've just never been able to do that very well gather up some more wood. I'm going to need some more cobble. Use the uh, old cave here to collect some more cobble. Probably going to need at least a full stack because I think I'm mostly done with the foundation. It's uh, really just a bunch of couple stacks of wood I'm going to need. And I was going to uh, try to do the roof in the darker wood color, but I haven't seen any of the. Uh, spruce or pine I guess it's spruce is the darker colored wood around so probably gonna have to just go with the oak and birch for now see how that looks but as I've said repeatedly already no matter what I do it's going to come out looking really bad but um, that's where you guys are gonna come in give me uh, some constructive criticism and tips on how to improve what I'm going to do you know I don't need any uh, trolling and that sucks I'm quite capable of doing that to myself so constructive criticism welcome how much do we got a uh, stack and a quarter uh, let's see if that's enough because uh, I know watching me mine cobble is not exactly riveting entertainment. Always have the uh, creeper falling on my head in the back of my mind, but I think I've been sleeping fast enough where we don't have to worry about that right now at least. And I think I want to bring this up one more level. Okay. And I'm not sure what I want to do with the corners. Do I want to... I think I'm going to try and use birch wood for the corners or maybe for the roof. I don't know. But this is going to be the front of the house. And... I'm going to have like a front porch. Or 
or a stoop at least, I don't know. And it's going to need quite a few of these, I think, depending on what I decide to use for the roof. So, um, how many... I don't know how deep I want the basement, but... When I think of it, let's, uh... Throw a couple torches in there so we don't have any zombies spawning in our basement before we're ready to use it for something. No, I'm not going to live in the basement. Sacrilege, I know. My name is Fat Basement Dweller, but I'm gonna try and live like a normal person, at least in this world, for a change. The uh, sunlight in Minecraftia does not bother me quite as much as the sun in real life does, so. Let's see how that goes. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think I want this on this level. Yeah. I think this is what I want. Again, I don't know why I'm obsessing too much. It's going to come out god-awful. No matter what I do. I don't know why I'm taking that down. I'm going to need it eventually, right? Herp derp. But we're not going to want those there. And... Hey, I got it for once. We'll make a uh, way into the basement in a bit, but... And then I want to have like a back deck here that we can fish off of or something. If we need to. Uh, I think I need, want this one more out. And it's getting dark again already. So let's go ahead and sleep. Not out of wood just yet, but I can see I'm going to need to definitely chop more trees. Do I want this? How I do I want this? You need to have it one more, right? I think. And... Where's the door going to be? Where's the center? This is the center, right? So... So I'll use cobble for the uh, corners. Actually, I want to leave some spots for windows. I dug up some sand off camera, made some glass. That's one thing you guys will be spared. 
I'll put these uh, corners in. I don't think I like this already, but I want to have at least something to call a house instead of living in the middle of the field. And we'll make improves. We'll make improvements as we go along, or burn this thing down and start over. But that's after we. Uh, don't have to worry about starving to death anymore. So I think put a couple windows here. So version 2.0, I'm definitely going to have to look up and see what the changes are because I don't really want any na too nasty surprises like creepers now, yes, blowing craters in the ground again all of a sudden or something like that. That would be uh, terrible if that happened on the uh, farm like we tested last time or couple of episodes ago to make sure that we were safe in that regards. Okay. Um, there we go. Now the next question that needs answering is how tall do I want this room? I think the way I'm going to do the roof it's going to be taller than I think so I don't think I'm going to completely fill this in just yet because then I'll have to just tear down everything again and eventually you're gonna be we're gonna be doing that anyway but let's see if we can save a little bit of our food energy because we need to start making some meals here and is this too claustrophobic no I think this is good and then, I don't know, I'm going to need some more cobble, I do know that much. So let's go grab some of that, and how are we on wood? We're out of wood too, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Pick these as we come by, so they can efficiently grow some more food for us. Thing I'm going to use most of this stuff. I just planted it in the very beginning so we had at least something to stuff our gob with. Though we didn't starve, and I still ended up starving that one time thanks to those spiders, which I'm sure you guys all found very amusing. So, 
It wasn't all for naught. I'm sure we have spawn points in here. Yes, of course we do. Well, not too much we can do about this. Well, there is, but I'm not going to waste the time on it. Fix it later if I have to. Otherwise, we're going to have like a creeper dispenser going on in here. And grab this salt because we're going to need it to make uh, either cheese or butter. I forget. Maybe both. Wasting my bronze pickaxe on stone. How are we doing? That, I'm thinking that should be enough. Of course it won't be, but... At least we can get some more progress here. Yeah, I'm having a feeling this is going to uh, be more than a one part ordeal so sorry guys the pain is going to be extended have to watch me build to more than one episode let's go ahead and get some more uh, wood we need some more birch wood Good thing there's still a few over here I replanted. And are there any of those drakes around? I don't see any, but of course I didn't see the one last time either before it came up and like one shot me. And I have to put armor on the list of to do things as well, but house and uh, organizing the farm first. At least our main crops for our cheeseburger farm. And then we're going to have to look into starting automating our cow breeding. And, uh, how shall we put it? Processing into uh, beef. gonna have to do some thinking about how we're gonna automate stuff in this particular mod since a lot of uh, the mods that I'm used to are not present we do have build craft of course and we have forestry um, the question is are we going to use mine factory reloaded or are we going to use forestry for our farming if you guys watch uh, my other series, you'll know that I'm not really a fan of the uh, new forestry farms, but may have to revisit them and see if I can't get over my distaste for them. So... couple doors while we're at it. And I think I'm going to have to do something with that because it's going to bother me otherwise. 